Going into a job interview, you're hopefully prepared to really sell your skills, why you're a great fit for that position and for that company. What about those pesky questions about why you're not good though? Today we're specifically going to look at answering the question, what are your weaknesses? And we'll focus on how to answer this as a data analyst or a business analyst. Hi, I'm Jen. I help people build analytic skills and careers with new videos every week. Check out the description for links to resources. At some point in any job interview, you should be prepared to answer what are your greatest weaknesses or a variation on it. Like if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Or what would your previous boss say that you struggled with? You might have heard that you should avoid this question or answer with a weakness that's not really a weakness, like you're a perfectionist. Maybe this worked in the past, but it doesn't work now. Answering something that's a perceived strength as your weakness is just not going to do the trick. Let's break this down a little further. Why is this such a terrible answer? A lot of it comes back to why you're being asked this in the first place. No one's expecting you to pour your heart out about all the things that are wrong with you and all the ways that you're terrible. The real reason behind this question is to get a little bit of a gauge of how well you know yourself. No matter how amazing you are at analytics or whatever the job is that you're applying for, there's always room to grow. Every single person has skills that they could work on more and improve and continue to grow in. So this question is really about, do you understand the context of where you can grow, of how you could do better work than what you're doing today? As a hiring manager, another thing that I'm looking for is how you handle yourself in uncomfortable situations. Regardless of what you come up with to mention as your weakness, it's a little bit uncomfortable to talk about where you fail, where you fall short. So I'm not looking for you to glorify the thing that you're a failure at or to write it off as not a big deal, but I'm looking for you to handle it with direct facts about where you could improve, maybe what you've done to improve, and then move on, not get hung up on it, not pretend like you don't have any areas to improve, but really be consistent concise, to the point, and somewhat honest. Again, this isn't the time to pour your heart out, but you should give me something that realistically is an area that I would perceive as a weakness, that someone else would perceive as a weakness or an area for growth. How would I recommend you answer this? Here's how to approach your answer. There's a fine line between conveying confidence that you're comfortable knowing that you could do the job and a sense of arrogance and I have nothing to learn. Giving an answer that's something that you actually have to work on or are working on helps keep you on that confidence side and not the arrogant or lacking self-awareness side. Review the key skills required in the job. These are areas that I would not recommend that you bring up as a weakness. You're not trying to call into question here your ability to do do the work. For most data analyst jobs or business analyst jobs, the key skills are going to involve knowing a tool, understanding statistics, and some amount of working with others. These are the areas that I would specifically encourage you not to focus on as your weakness, even if you do have areas that you can improve on within those subject matters. Identify an area that you need to improve that doesn't focus on these key skills. And then once you do, think about how you're going to package that in a response. Generally, you'll want to spend about a sentence on the weakness and then follow it up with what you're doing to fix it. The best type of weakness answers are acknowledging that you have a shortfall and then talking about what you've done or are doing or plan to do to be able to address that. If you're great at programming and really understand statistics, but you're not so good at data visualization, then talk about visualizing data or advanced data visualizations as your weakness area. And then what are you doing to address it? Are you taking a course on data visualization? Are you learning a data visualization tool better? Are you practicing and getting feedback in the current job that you're in? 
these are key ways that you can answer in a way that also acknowledges, yes, I know I have a risk, I have a problem, an area I'm not as good at as I should be or as I want to be, but hey, here's what I'm doing about it. I'm not just using that information to answer a question. I'm actually taking that information and trying to make myself better or make my skill set better as a result. Maybe you're headed into a role that has some interaction with others, but it doesn't involve always speaking in front of large groups. Perhaps at some point you will need to do more public speaking though, either to larger groups at the company or maybe you're expected to contribute or participate in conferences. In these cases you could say you're comfortable working with small groups of people but you find that you're not that great at public speaking. Maybe you join Toastmasters or maybe you've taken opportunities to get in front of larger groups. Maybe there's a group that you're volunteering with that you've taken the opportunity to work in front of larger groups than you normally would have. These types of answers, again, focus on where there's an issue that is not a critical part of the job, but are skills that you need to work on. And these skills that I mentioned are ones that a lot of people struggle with. A lot of great analysts are terrible at data visualization, and a lot of great analysts are bad at interacting with others or interacting with large groups especially. Public speaking is one of the number one fears, often ranked above death in terms of how much people fear it, which is just completely absurd. That's how to answer what is your greatest weakness for a data analyst or a business analyst. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.